Megan Flaherty Stanford was struck and killed by a car while crossing Route 37 in June of 2004. Yesterday, family, friends and neighbors gathered to unveil a pedestrian crossing signal near the site of the accident. How long has the light been needed up here? Uh, since we've been since we've been here, um, years before. Um, unfortunately, it took something like this in order for a light to get put in this. There's just too many kids um, in the school district being here. It's very very important for this to be done for the kids in Branchwood. Does it bother you that it took a tragedy like this to happen? Terrible. It's um, something that we shouldn't have to be here for today. This light should have been done many many years ago uh, because of the number of people that are in the neighborhood. And unfortunately, uh, Megan's life was cut short because of this, in, uh, in my, my opinion. When Megan Flaherty was uh, killed, the neighborhood got together and reached out to the legislative delegation, myself and Michael Morrissey, uh, and tried to uh, see if we could get some funding identified to get a crossing light uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, through a supplementary budget, we were able to do that. Later on, we worked with the town in order to make sure that the, uh, the warrants were met for the uh, highway department. Working with the state and the local officials, we were able to get a crossing light here. And anecdotally, I've been told that uh, for a long, long time, decades really, the neighborhood's been asking for a traffic light. So I guess it's a study in uh, pulling together as a community and uh, fighting for something you think is worthy.